Jr. here. Today I'm going to be talking about amphipians. Well, amphipians are cold-blooded vertebrates. They cannot control their own body temperature. So some uh, bask in the sun. That means that they lay out in the sun. So some bask in the sun to warm up and they enter the water to cool down. Although most have lungs, amphipians gain much of the oxygen they need through their skin. Number two, kinds of amphipian. Oh look, there's uh, some over here and uh, oh look, there's a worm over there. And, oh, there's a common frog over there. And there's a dusky sem salamander. Uh, all right, so this I don't know how to pronounce it, but never mind. The three groups of amphipians are salamanders and nukes. Frogs and toads and cassilians. A typical sama salamander has a long body and tail and four legs although similar to a lizard in shape does not it does not have scaly skin or ear openings on the outside of its body frogs and toads have much shorter bodies than salamanders and no tails yeah like frogs they have no tails their well developed back legs are used for jumping on landing and swimming Cassilians are warm like and live in burrows. Look, there's two types of burrows. Burrows like the, the water burrow and the land. Like, you know, the, you, you sometimes if you have a farm and you sometimes meet some, the, you know, the ground type Pokemons, the digging dudes here they make burrows they are digging deep and even the water bur burrows fish in coral reefs live in there all right so let's continue about amphipians well kinds of amphipians they are rarely seen above ground and finally, the amphibian skeletons. Oh my gosh, wait. Where's, where's the spine? Wait, how is this spine even shorter than the normal ones? Wait, where's the ribcage? All right, never mind. Amphipians have simple skeletons with fewer bones than other modern vertebrates. Frogs have broad heads with large eye sockets and a short spine. Yeah, that's why this spine is so small. So guys, the spine. Usually with no ribs. I knew it, I knew it. I knew that there is no rib cage in the skeleton. The tail bones have fused into a rod-like bone called your style. You'll see it get marked if you don't know what the your style is, so I'm gonna tell you about it. While a single sec Sacral vertebra. 
That is the backbone. Forms the hump in sitting frogs. The leg, feet, and the toe bones are long. And the elongated ankle bones enabled the legs to fold for jumping. Adaptations to this form allows frogs to live in different habitats. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until guys, I see you next time. So then subscribe, hit all these notification bells, and even the big like.